ले बाबा को साठो रे प्रिय आत्मन जागो हे प्रिय आत्मन फरिश्तों के संग संग बाबा है पधारे फरिश्तों के संग संग बाबा है पधारे प्रीतम से कर मिलन जागो आत्मन उठो आत्मन आई रे प्रभा in this series of amrit vela today's point becoming merged in love in the early morning hours of nectar all the children have a heart to heart conversation with bab dada in what way does the sweet conversation experienced by the maharati souls differ from that experienced by all other souls in what way does their meeting with bab dada differ there is the phrase the soul merges into the supreme soul in one way this expression is incorrect because there is a word that has been omitted if it is simply said that the soul merges then this is incorrect however if the soul is said to be merged in love then this is correct it is one thing to simply say merged whereas it is another thing to say merged in love when there is a meeting of the extreme love then what expression is used to describe this when there is such a meeting then it seems as though the two souls have merged into each other both have come together and become one these words of love have been adopted in one form and have been remembered in the exp- expression that the soul merges into the supreme soul however this is a reference to the meeting with baba of the maharati soul these soul merge into baba that is they become like baba and their form becomes the same as baba's form maharati children are able to have such powerful experiences so in bhakti the thing that soul merges into supreme, supreme soul is it possible yes. practically soul is a different unit supreme soul is a different unit so these two set of units cannot combine into each other and become one but the real expression is in fact it is not getting merged in him and soul to get merged means to lose one's identity if this is supreme soul and these are souls and all these souls get merged into supreme soul then only supreme soul will stay souls will finish because to merge means to combine to merge means to unite to merge means to coalesce to merge means to blend to fuse to mix to mingle to become one to team up to come together so it is not practically possible then the drama ends souls have become merged in supreme soul so now once they are merged into supreme soul how will they will come back and the drama ends the next drama cannot start then so it is not possible that the souls are getting one with supreme soul supreme soul soul is different souls have their individual identity so they retain their individual identity throughout and yet the devotees sing the song 
that we are lost in him we are merged in him we become merged one in him so what is it so baba has said it is in fact this phrase is incorrect it should mean to get merged in supreme soul's love so this is a poetic expression and which is this week which is going on right now from 7th to 14th of february this is known as valentines week the valentines week starts from 7th yesterday was which one promise day and then propose day and hug day so there are different names given to all the seven days so to become merged in love so baba says all souls meet baba in the nectarine hours of morning but what is the difference in the meeting of marathi souls meeting with god and the ordinary souls meeting with god or the other souls meeting with god so this meeting this union this blending fusing combining becoming submerged merged in love so how this is different so these marathis will have powerful experience baba is saying so what does it mean to merge in love to merge in love means what one is to combine that is to unite whatever you call it that's okay what are the other meanings that somebody is merged in somebody's love means hmm you become the second meaning is to become similar to that person okay what else what else hmm yeah you are so much lost that you can't think of anything else your mind gets focused on that person you are unaware of anything which is happening outside so that stage of rapt attention that stage of focused attention that stage of being getting lost in one is known as merged in love except him you don't love to think of anything else he is the sign assure he is the main attraction you don't feel like to think of anybody you don't think like to talk with anybody you don't look like to see anybody meet with anybody he becomes the center of attraction that stage is merged in love so in brahman life we go from different stages in bible this is described as what jesus says three stages first he says i am son of god he is asked who are you so he says i am son of god at second place he is asked but where is your father at some other point he says my father is in me and i am in my father and i am in my father so my father is in me and i am in my father but still at some other point he is persistently asked tell us where is your father is okay people keep on asking him so he says the father of the kingdom of heaven my father that art in heaven but where is heaven the kingdom of heaven is within you but still where is the father and he says the last and the final statement for which he was crucified my father and i are one blasphemy my father and i are one so this is you are calling yourself god this is against religion the pharisees the priest could not accept this sacrilegious statement so this was blasphemy dharma glani and they caught him and crucified him 
for this one statement. I and my father are one. So he has described three different stages. So these are the three different stages of Brahmin life. When we come in Gyan, we say, we are children of God. So he is different and I am different. Two different. He is the father, I am the child. But as I go ahead, I realize that my father is in me and I am in my father. Why? It's not that he is in me or it's not that I am in him. But the love has increased to that extent that I feel that he is with me all the time. And Baba says, who is in your heart? So we say, Father. And who is in Baba's heart? Baba himself says, children. So this is the stage of extreme love. This is the stage of ecstasy. This is the stage where soul is coming so near to the Supreme Soul that soul is trying to lose its identity and becoming one with the Supreme and so much lost in his love that it cannot see anything else other than the Beloved. So this is the stage of love. This is the stage of that intimacy. Spiritual intimacy. Spiritual proximity. Spiritual togetherness. Spiritual company. So here the soul says, I am in my father. And where is the father? The father is in me. He is with me, He is in me, He is around me, He is above me, He is below me. He is holding me. The strings are in His hand. He is making me do things. So that is the second stage. Is there any other stage other than that? Baba calls it the combined stage. My father and I are one. So there are no two different units now. Jesus says, my father and I are one. Advait, non-dualism. This is the stage of unity. This is known as monism, non-dualism, Advait. Where the two have become one, none but one. They have become, there is no duality here. It is known as non-dual stage, Advait stage. Where he and I have become similar. So these are the three stages we pass through. So he is my father and he is in me. And then gradually I realize that I am becoming like him. So when I say that we are merged in his love, means we don't think of anything else. We are merged in his love means we don't remember anything except His love. To become merged in His love means to become merged in His Gyan. We are so deeply soaked, drowned in His Gyan that the worldly knowledge appears tasteless. His knowledge, His every word, His every version, every murli, Every statement, every phrase, every clause appears nectarine, beautiful. So to become lost in his love, to become merged in his love means to become merged in his gyan, to become merged in his srimat. The mind doesn't relish, relish anything except the srimat because we have seen all other things of world. And what was the result? For 63 births we were following dictates of the minds or what the dictates of scriptures or what others tell us. And the result was sorrow, suffering, pain, confusion. So to become merged in Him means to become merged in His Srimad, to become merged in His Gyan, to become merged in His love, to become merged in his company, his support, his yagya, his family, everything which is associated with him, his abode. We start loving the place where he stays, 
and he is incorporeal so we try to become like him if we love somebody we will definitely try to become like that person or do whatever he tells us that is the mark of love whatever he says it appears truth and whatever he says we feel like to do it so to become merged in his love means to start loving his form his beauty his grace his abode his nature his his desires the desire to fulfill his desire will be of paramount importance in our life that he said this so i must do it that is the proof of love to lay down one's life for the beloved to lay down one's life for the beloved is the proof and the evidence of love and true love is that true love means sacrifice true love means total surrender true love means no questioning true love means bodiless true love means being combined with him to stay combined with him to be with him in him for him towards him nothing he becomes the ocean and we are the fish if a fish is asked what is water describe it or define it what will be the answer she will say i don't know what is water but she says tell us what is ocean she says i don't know i cannot define it but ye one thing i can tell whatever i am seeing all this is ocean and i cannot survive without it if the fish is put out of water it will die but if you ask the ship fish to define ocean it cannot define but one thing is sure that everything which is surrounding the ship, fish that which is above that which is below that which is on the left that which is on the right everything is ocean everything is ocean everything is in ocean and without ocean there is nothing life is impossible so when god is our ocean and we are those fish we cannot survive without him of course it must be deriving its nutrition she must be feeling thirsty so she has a water around so god is the ocean and we are the fish it's quite difficult to define god supreme soul but yes try to stay without him and you will realize what is he at least this realization will come that there is no life other than this life though the sometimes outside life might attract the fish might feel the temptation to go out and to visit buildings to visit roads parks museum the tinsel world the tintling tintillating world the attractive world but the moment the fish go out it will die because its world is the ocean the similar manner a brahmin soul's world is baba so no matter how much attractive or how much happy the worldly people might appear but there is no life there outside world it is all show it's all exhibition it's all mere artificial mimicry people are rich people are wealthy they have glamorous homes houses all facilities post position everything to eat whatever they want they can get but in spite of all that are they happy are they happy they aren't arthur jacob 
was the first multimillionaire of America. When the Titanic, the ship, sank, he was in that ship. The Titanic, which went from Europe to America, this Arthur Jacob, who was the first multimillionaire of America, he was in that ship. And at the time of death, he said, I am the saddest man on earth. So money has not made man happy, even though it is needed, but it has not given him that which he wants. So outside world, even though there is everything, what is the missing dimension is, there is no peace, there is no happiness, there is no contentment, there is cutthroat competition, there is jealousy in the air, there is envy, there is hatred, there is competitive attitude. Everybody is trying to pull the other person down. So this wild goose chase is going on in the world. And every man is rattled. This pleasure is in the air. There is not a trace of contentment. So our life is the greatest of all lives. Because God is with us. We live, we move, we have our being in Him. He is the be all and end all of our life of our lives. The Baba says at Amrit Vela, what you have to do is get merged in his love. And how will you get merged in his love? By remembering him and what all he has done to me. What I was before coming to Baba and what I have become now. What was my routine before coming to Baba and what is my routine now. What was my life before coming to Baba and what is my life now. What I was doing from morn till, from dawn till dusk before and what I do now. How restless, how restive, how discontented I was. And after coming to Baba, the life has become peaceful, calm. So remember what he has done for me. So when you remember him, your love increases. When you remember and create that sense of gratitude, thankfulness, then the love increases. So Baba often says, remember, when you become Brahmin, you become fat. When you, the moment you get Brahmin, you get fat. Fat means fortune, attainments and treasures. You get all three. The fortune, all attainments, bhagya, prapti, khazana and treasures. The moment you become Babas, you start becoming fat and fatter and fatter every day. Because your fortune, your attainments and your treasures increase. So, Remember what fortunes I have got. Remember what treasures I have got. Remember what attainments Baba has given me. What I am getting every day. So this positive outlook, this optimistic outlook will destroy the negativity, will destroy the pessimism, will destroy the darkness which is within the heart. This is the life of enthusiasm. This is the life of enjoyment. This is the life of feasting, not fasting. This is the life of merriment. This is the life of en that liveliness. So we become happy and happier every passing day. So that is Brahmin life. So at Amrit Vela, what should be the experience? get merged in his love remember his love see him have co talk with him conversation with him see that he is keeping his hand upon your forehead upon your head touch him feel him take the energy share with him discuss with him narrate him relate to him everything which is in the heart Hide not anything. So, the love increases. And whenever two persons are in love, they love to be together. 
they find out occasions so that they can stay together at in and lonely places so meet him love him feel him be with him and l- also try as if he is the ocean he is the i am getting drowned in his ocean he is the point of light i am the point of light i am getting merged in him he is the lamp i am the lamp i am getting merged in him he is the seed i am the seed the seed is becoming one seed both seed together he is the sun i am the star i am getting merged in him so different parables examples visualizations creative imageries and we experience his intimacy his proximity his company his togetherness his love will increase gradually option